All right, so it's Shane Beeler. We're back in the BIOS 1300, 1310 lab. We're just gonna be going over two shoulder models with uh, the shoulder muscles. All right, so let's get started. Okay, first one we're gonna be going over, this is just the rotator cuff muscles as well as the teres major. Okay, this is a right scapula and we're looking at the anterior part. So if you're looking at somebody, this is what you would see. So starting at the top, we have the supraspinatus. In here, we have the infraspin or the subscapularis. Here, we have the teres major. All right, and if we flip to the back, as if you were looking at someone from a posterior view, again, we have the supraspinatus, we have the infraspinatus here, and then we have the teres minor. Notice these two are very close in proximity, and then again below, we can see the teres major. Okay, two other structures we can also identify on this model are the corco acromial ligament connecting the corcoid process and the acromion. And we can also see part of the biceps brachii. Okay, moving on to the other model. Very similar to the first, but we're gonna be covering just a couple more muscles. So let's cover the ones we just covered. So looking at this one, we can see a supraspinatus here. We can see the subscapularis and we can see teres major. Other muscles we can see on this one are going to be the latissimus dorsi down here at the bottom. This would be part of the pectoralis minor, just resected so that we can see the other muscles. Here we have the biceps brachii and you can see both of its tendons. This would be the pectoralis major. It's just resected so that we can see the other musculature. Up here, we have the deltoid. The deltoid, we can see better on the lateral view. It's been resected a piece of it out so that you can see the humerus. So we have upper part of the deltoid, lower part to its insertion. Looking at the posterior view of the model, we have the upper fibers of the trapezius have been resected so that we can see that supraspinatus again. So remember, supraspinatus is deep to the trapezius. Again, we have the deltoid. It's been resected so that we can see the infraspinatus coming over to the humerus, as well as the teres minor coming over to the humerus. We have teres major here, and underneath, again, we have the latissimus dorsi going to the humerus. Last muscle we can see is the triceps brachii.